I'm surprised the ostriches don't get more annoyed with the beads as hitching a free ride. <laughs> Look, there's another one. Uh-oh. I think I might have spoken too soon! Whoa! Oh. Well, it's a good thing I landed on something soft. Hang on a minute. This looks just like the grass mound the widow birds were dancing in front of a safari world. So the widow birds must be around here somewhere. What was that? Oh, yes! It's a Jackson's widow bird. Hello! The male widow bird spends his time making the perfect stage for his performance. He's trimming the grass, clearing a space for him to dance in. All in an effort to attract a female widow bird. Incredible. Hang on a minute. There's a female now. Oh, -ho! I think he's about to dance. This is his chance to impress her. My chance to film the dance. OK, I'll make sure the camera's the right way around this time. Right, here goes. Whoa, looking good. That's it, buddy. Just a little bit more. Perfect. Oh, no. The female doesn't seem to be noticing the male at all. I don't think she can see him in all this long grass. You need to jump higher, buddy. How can I show him? Got it! My backpack! It's always full of useful things. A pogo stick. Perfect! working. Better get out of the way. Ah, he's got his girl and I've got my video. Right. Andy to Jane. I've got the footage. Oh, that's fantastic, Andy. Send it to me and I'll upload it to Mr Hammond straight away. Slow down! I forgot they could climb trees. <laughs> Can you hear that? Yes! It's a river. And up there in the trees, little red flying foxes. Brilliant! I need to get up there. See you later, Mr Lizard. Foxes. Aren't they incredible? They're flapping their wings to try and keep cool in this heat. Oh, it's Jen. Hi, Andy. It was the heat causing all the problems with your safari mobile, but I fixed it now. Did you manage to get a picture yet? Uh, no, not yet. But I know I'm in the right place. That's great news, Andy. If you can take a picture and send it through to me, I'll print it out before Mr. Hammond notices it's gone. Will do. And thanks, Jen. Oh. Where are they off to? Oh, I see. They're flying down to the river and soaking up the water in their fur, just like in Mr Hammond's photo. That's the picture I need to get. But Mr Hammond, he used a hang glider to get his photo. I don't have one of those. What am I going to do? Unless... Hey! All right! Be 
these photos look great, but I need one that looks exactly like Mr. Hammond's. Oh, what's that down there poking out of the water? Looks like a log. Whoa, that's not a log. It's a crocodile. Watch out! The crocodiles are trying to snap up the flying foxes as they're collecting the water. No wonder the flying foxes fly back up to the trees to drink. It's a lot safer up there. Oh. Hang on, what's going on? Oh. 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 Phew. Hey, look! Lemurs! Ah, oh, this is going to be the quickest adventure ever. Oh, no. I spoke too soon. These are brown lemurs. I need a ring-tailed lemur's footprint. And Mr Hammond will know the difference. There are lots of different species of lemur. And they all live here in Madagascar. Hello. Oh. Sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'd better go and find the ring-tailed lemurs. Maybe I'll have a look from up there. <laughs> oh. This is much better. I can see for miles up here. Hmm. Still no sign of any ring-tailed lemurs, though. Or is there? That looks like a tail with rings on it. Ha-ha! <laughs> I recognise these guys. It's the ring-tailed lemur family from Safari World. Everyone's here. Adults and babies. Right. I don't want to startle them, just like the other lemurs. I'll shrink down to the size of a baby ring-tailed lemur. Great! Hmm. I wonder what they're all doing over there. This is no place for a lemur troop to live. There's no trees for them to hide from predators, no water to drink, and no food to eat. Apart from those spiky plants, and they don't look very tasty. It's also a terrible place to find a footprint. This rock is much too hard to leave an impression. I'll just have to wait for them to head back to the forest. Ah, uh, this place is good for one thing, though. Sunbathing. Lemurs love to warm up in the sun. That's probably why they're up here. Well, if I have to wait for them, I might as well join them. <sighs> Hello. <sighs> this is the life. Hey. Is that blocking my son? Oh, no. I knew it wasn't safe here. It's a Madagascan buzzard. And they sometimes eat lemurs. Quick, sound the alarm. <laughs> Everyone, back to the forest. <laughs> I'm not even halfway up yet. Whoa! Hey, hello! It's a spider monkey! Whoa! Wish I could climb as well as he can. Spider monkeys have long prehensile tails. That means that they can grab onto branches easily. It's like having an extra arm. Great for climbing. Oh, look! They must be his brothers and sisters. Even spider monkeys need to learn to climb. These youngsters are practicing on these lower branches where it's not so far down if they fall. Oh, hang on a minute, little one. I don't think you should be climbing that high. Oh, no, and Dad hasn't noticed. If he falls from the top of that tree, he could really hurt himself. I need to get up there to make sure he's okay. Hi, Andy. Have you managed to find a 
Anakin. Not yet, Jen. And I'm afraid I've got a baby spider monkey emergency at the moment. Any idea how I can quickly get to the top of the tree? Um, what about your backpack? You're always saying there's lots of useful things in there. Great idea, Jen. I'll be back as soon as I can. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. A tape measure? How's this going to help me? Unless... Here goes. I hope this works. Yay! Oh, that was fun! Right then, little one. It's time to get you back down to your dad. No, 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 not that way! Hold on! Whoa. Oh, thank goodness for that prehensile tail. Hang on a minute. I think he's stuck. He can't reach another branch with his hands or feet. And if he lets go with his tail, he'll fall. Whoa. We need some expert help. Dad! Dad, can you hear me? Up here! Your little one's in trouble! Yes! I think he heard me. Here he comes. Ah! Oh, nice one, Dad. He'll be safe now. Whoa! It's a long way down. Can I grab a lift? Oh, great! <laughs> Tree shrews are amazing acrobats. See what I mean? They've got big brains considering they're so small. Excuse me. Which means they hardly ever make mistakes. <laughs> Luckily, pardon coming through. <laughs> Brilliant! The tree shrew has found lots of mangosteens. Oh, there's a good one over there. Yes, this is exactly the sort of mangosteen that I need. What's that? It's a bearded pig! Hey! I have my eye on that one! Something tells me that these pigs don't want to share. Find another mangosteen tree. Look, the pigs have eaten everything. Luckily, I'm with the best fruit finder in the forest. Come on, let's go. Wait for me, Ant. Oh, look, the ant's waving. Hey, maybe it's a welcoming party. And these ants are saying hello to those ants coming home. Well, that doesn't look very friendly. Hang on a minute. It wasn't waving. It was warning the others. Those ants down there are invading this ant colony up here. Oh, no. <sighs> They're having a fight. Oh. And I'm caught in the middle. Oh. <laughs> This battle is really hotting up. They're now spraying a, a stinging liquid at each other. I think I'd better get out of here. Oh. 
Oh, phew. That's better. Oh, hello. What have you got, then? Looks like a jelly bean. No, that's a grub, a baby ant. Oh, it's off. Maybe it's taking it to the nest. Only one way to find out. Come on, let's go. The ant is carrying the grub really carefully. Hmm? What are those ants doing over there? Oh, they're building a bridge out of themselves. Wow, now that really is teamwork. <gasps> Look, what's that? It's a bower. Oh, and there's its owner. There are lots of different types of bower birds here in New Guinea. This one is called a flame bower bird. Well, you can see why by its brightly coloured feathers. They look like fiery flames. Just look at those colours. Oh, now it's trying to attract a mate. It's worked. Look, it's a female. Oh, it's amazing how different they are, isn't it? But then with birds, it's the male who's more colourful than the female, usually. Oh, there we go. He's saying, come to my bower, come to my bower. And she has, just where he wants her, for his big performance. Look what he's doing with his eyes. He could even do them one by one. Hmm. No, not easy. Dancing now. Oh, she doesn't look that impressed, though. That's better. Much more dramatic. Hey, where are you going? Oh, hopefully they'll be back soon. But in the meantime, I may not have seen how the bower bird built the bower. But I could still try and copy it. All I need is some twigs. Ah, 